Hey folks, your Minecraft admin here, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Core Protect version 2. Core Protect is an anti-griefing, logging, rollback, and restoring plugin for Bucket. I think everyone should have this plugin. If you don't have this plugin, you're doomed. Um, this plugin is super easy to use. It's super fast. And I mean fast, you'll, you'll see later how fast this plugin is. Uh, it logs blocks that are placed and removed. It logs chat. It logs commands. It logs kills. It logs logins and logouts. It logs items in chests and dispensers and furnaces. It logs skins on heads. It logs item frames. It logs maps and this stuff and this stuff. It logs everything. It also works with uh, TechIt and it logs world edit. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn how to just do a rollback, uh, click the annotation now to skip all of the other important junk that you might not know, but you want to learn about. So you should, uh, you should, uh, you should, you should learn this stuff. So the first thing I'm going to teach you how to use is the inspector. Uh, to enable the inspector, you type in slash core protect in space inspect. So slash core protect space inspect. Or my way of, uh, uh, or the way of abbreviating it, you can do slash co space i. So that is what I'm going to use because it's super fast and who wants to type in slash corporate tech fresh But the inspector, what it does is when you left click something, sorry, I get my left and my, my right mixed up. You see that uh, it tells you what was placed there and removed. Now, if you right click, it will tell you the block on top, but you have to have a block in your hands like this, see? So this says there's no data, there's no data. Oh, so I removed some tall grass that was right here. So that's pretty easy to use, right? It also, now, this is the cool part, right? If you come over here to this chest and right click on the chest with your inspector on, it tells you what was put in and removed from the chest. How awesome is that? So somebody steals from you, you know who it is. Also, uh, it locks doors and it logs. Oh, see, Tahu136, uh, looks like he opened my door. It also logs, um, let's see, what else? Pretty much anything you can interact with. Uh, it logs, uh, you know, gates and buttons and levers and all that fun stuff. Now let's come over here to some lava and some water that was placed. You don't have to, you can click the source block to figure out that I placed the lava there and I placed the water there. But what's even better is if you just right click on the end part of it, it will tell you that this came from the stationary lava right here. So and the water here came from the water down here. Is that pretty neat? I think that's super neat. Uh, let's see. Let's come over here to this mushroom and... Uh-oh. Oh, hang on. I think we have to turn off the inspector. And then we're going to try to grow him. Alright, there we go. Now we grew a mushroom. Let's turn the inspector back on. And if you click anywhere on the mushroom, it will tell you... There you go. That, uh... This was placed from... Now, if you see the lines there, that's from a, a, a rollback which we will, we will get into later. But you can click anywhere on this mushroom and it'll tell you that the mushroom grew from this one tiny block right here. Uh, it also works with trees, so let's go plant a tree over here and grow the tree. Oops, <laughs> gotta turn the inspector off again. My bad. And the whole tree grew. Let's turn the inspector back on. And see, it says we placed we placed the leaves uh, zero hours ago, even though it was, you know it's, the leaves come from the tiny little tree there. So I think that's that's it with uh, the inspector. And the next thing I'm going to teach you is new to uh, Core Protect. So those of you that have had Core Protect, uh, this is new to version two. And let me tell you what: you just install version two, remove your your old uh, version one jar, and it updates and it converts everything automatically. It might take a while. Uh, for my server, we had. We had about six months worth of uh, data logs, and it, it took a few hours. So as long as you don't shut off your server, you'll be fine. Um, we had no problems during the upconvert. Uh oh, uh oh, we got rain. We don't like rain. Rain's bad for videos. So let's uh, let me let me tell you how to look, uh, look up here. So you can do core protect slash slash core protect space lookup, and that will tell you how to do the stuff. So, but what we're gonna do? We're gonna do slash co l or sash co lookup. I like lookup. I don't know why. Um, but we can look up things like, um, hmm, let's look up everything that I have done, me. So you use the uh, the letter U colon your MC admin, because that's me. You can put anyone, uh, 
anyone's screen name in there that's been on your server and has been logged. Um, let's see, and we're going to do what I've done in the last five minutes. So we're going to put T colon 5M. You can also do seconds if you wanted to, uh, hours, uh, days, and weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. So seconds, minutes, hours days, weeks. So we're going to, anyway, we're going to look up what I did in the last five minutes. So there you go. I placed some leaves, apparently, which I think come from growing that tree. And to view, as you see at the bottom, it says page one of 29. So let's, uh, let's view what I did. Um, hmm. Let's say 13. We'll look at page 13. Oh, apparently I had, that's still from placing the leaves. So let's look a little further back. Let's say page 29. There you go. I placed the red mushroom. Page 29. There you go. So, uh, it's all, it, it tells you what you did. Let's go back a little further. Let's see what I've done. Let's see. Look up. You. You for username. Uh, colon. My username. Time. Let's see what I've done in the last whole day. We're gonna go back for one whole day. Hmm. Let's add five hours, ten minutes, and six seconds. So you can get pretty, pretty close there. To anything so 287 pages wow um so let's uh, look at page what do you guys want to see 152 there i am apparently i removed uh some grass blocks as you can see 200 or 200 wow 24 hours ago so i was uh, removing some grass blocks 24 hours ago let's make it daytime let's see what else we can look up everything that has happened here in a 50 block radius in the last day so let's do that so let's Look up everything that's happened in the last day. Sorry, one day in the radius of 50 blocks. Oh, so it's, it's doing a search. Could take a little bit. There we go. 70 pages. And as you can see on the top here, some fire has been placed. So apparently uh, something under me somewhere in some uh, abandoned mines must be lighting on fire. Uh, we're, let's see. Let's uh, look at page uh, two. There goes. Uh, see, I destroyed some leaves, or placed some leaves. Uh, let's look at page. I don't know, 25. Uh, placing red mushroom. I want to. I want to try to get something interesting here for you guys to look at. There we go. Uh, there. How, see, uh, somebody uh, removed a head from my wall. They placed the head on my wall, uh, and they clicked the door. So you can find out everything because it, it seriously logs everything. Now here's here's a really cool thing you can do with lookup. So we are going to look up a specific block and how people have interacted with that specific block. To look up specific blocks, you use B, colon, and then you'll use the number for the block. So uh, you might not know, but Diamond Ore has a block number of 56. You can find this out on the Minecraft forums easily. Or sorry, the Minecraft Wikipedia. Anyway, we're going to look up... So any Diamond Ore that has been interacted, such as mined, in the last two days. And there we go. We've got the purple mage has been finding diamonds 19 hours ago. How cool is that? Now you can find out those x-rayers or something like that. So you know what's been going on on your server. You can look up everything. Hmm. Oh, and watch this. We will look up the chat log. And now chat is considered an action when it comes to this. Uh, there's a list of actions, such as blocks placed, uh, buttons and levers clicked, uh, kills, chat, commands used, um, and, and there's more. Uh, check out the, the link below in the description for that stuff. So we're going to use the, uh, we're going to look up the chat, but we're going to look up the chat for the last 24 hours. Oops, my bad. Uh, I forgot to put T for time, 24 hours. There we go. So uh, here's what we here's uh, what I just talked about. Uh, you know, I'm talking about filming, and apparently he's gonna be that guy who runs naked in front of the camera. Great. I didn't read that because I had my chat turned off. Um, all right, so that's the inspector. You can catch any griever, no problem. And now for what you all have been waiting for. The rollback. We're going to teach you how to roll back some griefings, and it is going to be most excellent. But first, say goodbye to my little area, because it's going to get griefed by some evil, evil griefer. Oh no, you guys! Oh no! We've been griefed! Oh no! What are we going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll this back, because this ain't no big deal. Now, the first thing you guys need to do is turn on your inspector and figure out who griefed you. So let's see here. We got Tahu136. Uh, right. 
Tahu 136. So there's our griefer. Now you know who the griefer is. And since you know that, it's very easy to roll all this back. There's a few different ways we can do it. We could either roll all of this back generically and just roll this whole area back by time, or we can roll it back by who did it. So uh, let me let me show you how to roll it back by time. Uh, now the rollback command is just C O uh, space rollback, and to enter a time, we're gonna do T colon uh, the time. So we see that it happened 1.12 hours ago. So we're gonna go a little bit beyond that to um, let's say an hour and a half. So 1.5 hours. You could do, or you could do one hour, 30 minutes. How cool is that? I love that. Uh, in a radius of, let's say, I don't know, 40 blocks? Nah, it seems a little big. Yeah, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so everything's going to be rolled back. One hour, 30 minutes, 40 blocks. That's one way to do it. I'm not going to actually do this because I want to show you a even better way. You know what? No, let's do that. Let's do that. Because, sorry, uh, time. What did I say? One hour and 30, 30 minutes. Because I want to show you another command too. Uh, roll back. 40 blocks, 40 blocks in an hour and 30 minutes. Now we'll roll back on the global here. Do, 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 do. Uh -oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. I think my server might be lagging. Definitely not this plugin. All right. So there we go. Even my animals. You see this, guys? Do you see this? My dead animals come back. The sheep come back with their actually dyed color. Oh, and I think I left my own gate open. Uh, pigs come back. Pigs, saddled pigs come back. How awesome is that? That's so awesome. Uh, this, this came back here. My tree came back. Uh, my sign came back with text. Your uh, flower pots come back with whatever's planted in them. Your, your item frames come back with your map and your pictures. Uh, skulls come back. Do I still have my inspector on? I think I do. Let's turn that off. Uh, open your chest back up and you get your items back. In here, you get your, your iron and your coal back. Even though it's switched, but that's okay. Hello, sheepy. All right, so let's let's undo this. Bam, and now we're back to the whole crazy griefing. And as you can see, uh, some TN, TNT game back. Okay, now how I like to actually uh, do the rollbacks is I do a zero rollback. Oops, well, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, rollback. I like to input the username, so we know it was him. Uh, so we'll do. Uh, let's just go two hours and ten minutes, and sixteen. That's that's a sixteen there. Seven, fifteen seconds in a radius of forty blocks. So the reason I like to do the username here is because anything within these forty blocks around me that he has touched rolls back. But not necessarily, but not necessarily, not at all. Not anything uh, any other players have interacted or touched, which is good in uh, more tight quarters and less open areas. So if, if your spawn gets griefed or something like that, definitely a really good way to do that. So let's turn the inspector off. Cool, cool, great, grand. Um, now, another thing you could do is say he was just a total jerk and you don't know what other griefing he has done on the server. So you could do, uh, let's say, a rollback like this. So, uh, the username, Tahu, uh, want to sit. And you could just, instead of putting a radius in, just put a time in. So anything he's done, say, in the last 10 days, all gone, all rolled back, as simple as that. We're not gonna actually do that because that would be kind of mean, and that wouldn't be nice. Now, let's say, hmm. We're going to undo that last thing so all of my animals die. Oh no, all my animals are dead. So let's uh let's let's do a action roll back here. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I'm losing my voice. Uh, so we're going to roll back um a time of uh, uh 2 hours, uh radius of 10 blocks and we're going to use 10 blocks. I don't know why I put a B there. We're going to use A and uh, we're going to say uh the action here is kill. So, uh, kill. Because anything killed then within the last two hours and within 10 blocks will come back. See? Look at that. Sheep come back, color, blah, blah, blah. Piggies come back. 
That piggy must not have been in my uh, my 10 block radius, but that's okay. We can uh, let's make it a little little wider and a colon kill. No. All right, maybe I just. Oh, he's down here. Sorry about that. He did come back. He just ran away. <laughs> um, other things we could do is uh, say you want to uh, roll black back back a specific block so this so what is uh block five so let's do a c o roll back uh radius of i don't know 20 blocks did it again uh time of uh, the last two hours and we're gonna use b for block so let's roll back only wood blocks so we know wood block is five in the database you can uh, find that easily on the minecraft wikipedia wiki i don't think you say wikipedia do you? So, so as you can see here, uh, anything, 20 blocks in the last two hours, and only the wood block, only block five will roll back. So everything else will stay broken. That way you can roll back just uh, some things, or you can roll back, um, say, like like over here, uh, roll back the TNT. And I think I was kind of far away when I rolled that back, and that's what happened there. So you can use a mixture of all this cool stuff to... Uh, to get it all back and uh, to it's, you have to be creative be creative if you are trying to roll back only certain stuff it is pretty nifty if you ask me one more command we have is a restore what restore does is you can think of it as rolling back a rollback uh, restores happen after you do a rollback so uh, let's do an example here of a restore so we're gonna restore um, Let's restore this area here to one hour ago. So uh, time, one hour, and a radius of 10 blocks. No, how about 2.5 hours? So we gotta go back a little further. We have to go back further than the time the rollback was. The rollback was, I believe, what I do, two hours. Uh, so we're gonna go back 2.4 hours. It's very confusing. It even confuses me a little bit. Uh, I, I really haven't needed to use it much. But I do love the new... I, you used to have to do it before the undo command. But now you have undo, and it is simple as that. Uh, we also have the last command I'm going to teach you about is uh, purge. And what purge does is it deletes your history. It deletes uh, what, it's, what is logged. Now, since I log everything, and I've logged everything for the last six months, and it rolls back like butter. Quite simple, quite awesome, quite easy. There are a few little kinks here. So let's uh, let's do a full rollback here of um, this whole area. So let's say 40 blocks. I keep doing B. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, 40 blocks uh, in the time of the last, how this looked five hours ago. So... That sound good? That sounds great. And my mushroom is back. This is back. All my animals are back. I left my gate open. Like, you need this. If you don't have this plugin on your server, uh, you are missing out. So please. Oh, there's a little there's a little bug. Uh, the item frame appeared on the outside instead of the inside. So you might wanna might want to be careful and uh, check out the item frames a little bit. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped out at all, uh, please subscribe. Uh, please share. Please like, favorite, yada, yada, yada. You guys are awesome. See you guys later.